day! So for today's video, I'm going to be trying on prom dresses. Even though I'm 26 years old and my prom was literally 10 years ago. But I did do a video last year. No, it wasn't. It was like three years ago. Three, three or two or three years ago. I did trying on prom dresses from eBay. And that went down really well with you lot. So... I thought I would bring it back three years later. I think it was three years ago, it was it was ages ago. So I was thinking on what kind of shop I could get the dresses from, and I thought ASOS would be a good one to do because ASOS is something that everybody uses pretty much. It's really good quality, but for like good prices. And they also do Klarna, which means you don't have to pay until like the month after. So that's really good. So this is the bag they all came in. I think I kind of went for the ones that I liked the most or the ones that I think I would wear or the ones that look the most like prom-like and that other people would like. So basically I just got like a variation of all different types. Let's get on with it. I've forgotten what I've ordered. Okay, this is the one we're gonna go with first. Okay, let me see how much this cost. <laughs> My phone on the floor. And it hasn't got a screen protector on it and I don't have insurance. Pray for me, everybody. Oh, she's all right. Thank food for that. Okay, so this is the first one. This one I've just checked was £85, which is probably kind of the more expensive end of everything I've got. So here it is. It's like a lilac colour. Very nice lilac. Very nice embellishment. And it's a high neck, which I personally really like, but not everyone's cup of tea. And then it just kind of goes mid, I think it's a midi dress. But anyway, let's try it on. Okay, here she is. What do we think? Um, I think it's quite nice. I like the embellishment. I'm probably not wearing the right bra for it. But I think the embellishment is really nice. And I like that it's a high neck, although I don't know how flattering it is. The skirt is kind of like... But... <laughs> kind of like an asymmetrical at the side situation. I think I probably would have worn this to prom in when I was like 16, maybe. I really like the embellishment and I like the color. Although I'm not sure about the neck. I do like high necks, but I don't know if it's kind of like a bit weird for prom. Right, so dress number one. It is really pretty. I love the embellishment to be fair, but I just don't know if it's a bit frumpy and a bit unflattering on top. Also, it's a shorter skirt. Well, it's not, it's not like floor length, it's like midi length. So that's not everyone's cup of tea, but um, I don't know, I quite like short dresses sometimes for proms and stuff. I think it's really nice, so I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10. But anyway, let's try on the next one. So this next one is the most expensive one. No, actually, it's not the most expensive one, it's the second most expensive one. So this one was £110, and it's lace with like a nude insert. It's really pretty. I'm really not normally a fan of uh, bodycon on me though, so we will see how this looks. Okay, dress two. Hopefully you can see it okay. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's got really thin little straps here. It's really summery, which is fine because prom is in summer most of the time. Logic. So unless it like pisses it down with rain, you should be sound. The skirt is really cute. It, it's kind of like a mermaid style. So it like flares at the back. But this does fit really nicely. Like it feels quite, you know, like everything's kind of tucked nicely away in, which is what I like in a bodycon. And I really like the lace. I like the nude. I like it. And the fact that it's shorter and not longer makes it look less wedding dressy because I feel like sometimes white prom dresses can look really wedding dress-like. Don't at me if you've got a white prom dress and it's long, sorry. This is cute, man, I like it. So I'm actually kind of surprised because I do like this one and I didn't think it would be my style at all. And it's not really my style at all. I don't think I've ever worn a dress like this out in public, but I do really like it. I think it's really cute. And it does feel really expensive. Like when you put it on, it's really good quality. I'm gonna give this one a seven and a half out of 10 because I do really like it, but it is up there in terms of price. I mean, compared to a normal prom dress, maybe not. I mean, I guess prom dresses you can buy like in the hundreds of pounds. I bought my actual prom dress for like 20 quid, but I guess a lot of people do pay like hundreds for it. So it's probably not that expensive on average, I guess, for a prom dress. Okay, so this next one was one of the cheaper ones. This one was 36 pounds. So I've got two cheaper ones and then three kind of like average slash expensive, more, more expensive. Um, this is number three, floor length. It's really long and I am really tall, so it does go all the way to the floor for me, which is good. 
because then you can always get it tailored if you're shorter or whatever. I mean, this does fit me like from here downwards, but the top is so loose and baggy. The top is like sequins rather than embellishment, so you can tell it's like not as good quality as, for example, the first dress. It's so baggy here, look. Um, but the back is so cute. I'm not sure about this one at all. It is way too big on top for me, um, but it fits me on the skirt, so good. You can tell that it's like the cheaper one because this is just sequins, it's not like a nice embellishment or anything. But the detailing on the back is so cute. I really like the detailing, the little bow and the kind of like sequins going all the way down the back in the middle, that's really nice. So I'd probably give this one a six out of 10 because it is so good for the price. Like it is not like the worst quality, it's cheaper, but it's still like wearable. It's just the fit that's annoying, it doesn't fit me at all. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a six. Okay, so this is my next one. This is actually the cheapest one that I've got. This one was £27. This one is actually from Chi Chi Clothing. I didn't realise that it wasn't ASOS. So there actually might be a few different labels of here. I didn't check that. So the purple one was actually from ASOS. All the others are brands on ASOS. Oops. But even so, you can buy them on ASOS. So kind of the same thing. It's like a nude champagne type colour. Um, it's kind of tight fitting, but like it's got a few layers on it. So it's not like really, really tight. It's got a slit down the middle, which I'm kind of into. This area of myself, I'm not the biggest fan of. So it kind of highlights that. And I don't know if I'm into that. But overall, I'm 27 pounds. This is pretty incredible. I don't know if I like the path, like the lace pattern on it. I feel like it's a bit your grandma's curtain vibes. And the color, I don't know if it suits me that well but again for the price can't really complain too much about it and it is really pretty and I did like the slit in it and it felt actually really good quality I'd probably give that one a seven all things considered I quite liked that one we've got one left and it's the most expensive one this one was 125 pounds so quite spenny wow she's beautiful let's get her on okay here is the last dress I think this is actually probably my least favorite <laughs> It's just a bit like plain. I mean, it's not plain because there's loads of embellishment. It's nice embellishment, it feels really good quality. I just feel a bit like a little girl in it, like a pageant contestant in Toddlers and Tiaras. Moving on to contestant number three. Rosie. She is eight years old, has brown eyes and dark brown hair. Her future plans are to become Miss America and then Miss Universe. And that, my friends, was my Toddlers and Tiaras impression. Well, but I don't know, it's just not really me. Swish factor, mm, pretty good, not as good as the first one. So this last one, I'm not 100% sold on it, like I just said. It is really pretty, the embellishment is really nice. The color's nice, again, I don't know if like champagne slash brownie tan really suits me that much. I think it would suit like a blonde person more. But the embellishment's really good, you can feel that it's really good quality. And I guess that's why it's the more expensive one. I wouldn't wear this to prom. I feel like it's not very flattering on me at all. And it just reminds me of a pageant dress so much. Now that I've said that, I can't get it out of my head. So yeah, I think I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. Um, it's fine, it's just not a bit of me, I'm afraid. So I think my favorite one was actually the white lace one. This one, I think this one was my favorite. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you think there's another one that you liked more? Which one would you pick for your prom out of the ones that I showed? Or let me know what your prom dress is like because prom is an exciting time and I'm not ever gonna get to experience one ever again because I'm an old bitch. So I have to just do it vicariously through making YouTube videos about prom dresses. And I'm too old to dab, don't do that. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think either way and if you like anything that you see i'll be leaving the links in the description box so go and check that out if you want if you haven't already and you would like to don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram my username is rosla with two r's thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye